Humility. What a powerful word. What a powerful attribute that we can have as Christians. We can be humble. Did you know that the root Latin meaning for humility is humus? And it basically means to be low to the ground. And you know what I've learned in walking many years with the Lord is, and I've seen amazing things in my life. I've seen incredible healings. I have seen people standing up out of wheelchairs. I've seen lame people walk. I've prayed myself for deaf ears to open up. Um, you name it, folks, I have seen it. But the most important thing, or one of the most amazing things uh, that I've ever experienced is in my room behind closed doors, lying prostrate before the Lord. Uh, and I've had so many amazing encounters and times of intimacy with Jesus, literally in my room, uh, where he would show me so many things. And one of them was in my early to mid-twenties. I was in my room uh, spending time of intimacy with Jesus. And the next moment he came walking into my room and he gave me a key. And I said, Lord, what is this key that you're giving me? And he said, Shal, my boy, this is the key of humility. And you're going to need it for the rest of your life. Needless to say, I received the key and I've never looked back. Uh, this key, what I call the key of humility, uh, will really open up doors of God's favor in your life. You know, what is God's favor? It's when you find yourself in a place where you literally ask yourself, how did I end up here? Um, I remember uh, in 2000 and. 16, 2016, I was in Texas, um, in the United States, in Texas, and I was invited to uh, go to this prestigious Christian school where I had the opportunity to prophesy over all the children, the kids at the school, young children. And I remember speaking and prophesying over these children. Wow. And I was prophesying over the teachers in the hallway. And after the second class, I was prophesying over this one kid that he's going to be in property one day. And I never knew this, but his father had a property company. And the next moment after the school, the little kid comes running up to me with his phone. He's like, listen, my dad wants to speak to you. And, he's, and his dad spoke to me. And wow, guys, he said, please, can I come and see you? I also want prayer. And the next moment, the principal and his wife uh, called me, please, can you come to the office? And folks, how amazing is this? But the next moment, I am prophesying over the principal and his wife in the office, and they were lying prostrate on the floor before the Lord, crying like little babies, as I prophesied over them. And I remember saying to myself, this is God's favor. Uh, when you find yourself in a place where you ask yourself, how did I end up, end up here? Humility is such a powerful attribute. As Christians, we have to walk in humility before the Lord because that will open up so many doors versus pride. Right, there's so many scriptures in the Word of God that speaks about humility. I encourage you today, go seek them out. And there's, every day there's opportunities for us to be humble, to humble ourselves before the Lord. Love you guys. Bless you guys. Have a nice day.